Hello, my name's Karen Burke. I'm a Gestalt psychotherapist here at the Manchester Institute of Psychotherapy where I see individuals, couples and uh, groups for both therapy and for supervision. And today my colleague Stephanie Cook is with me. And Stephanie, would you like to talk about you? And Yes, uh, I am also a psychotherapist here. Uh, I'm a transactionalysis psychotherapist and I too work with couples, individuals and groups. Uh, but I'm also uh, a trainer here at the Institute too and I supervise. Uh, and today what we're going to talk about is symbiosis. Hmm. And in Gestalt psychotherapy we don't have the terminology of symbiosis. However, Stephanie is going to talk to us today about what it is and how we can recognise it and some top tips for how to work with clients when you do recognise there is a symbiotic relationship forming. Me and Carl. <laughs> yes, yeah, the two of us will talk yeah. about that, that's right. Um, so I'll, I'll just explain briefly a little bit about what symbiosis is in terms of uh, transaction analysis. Uh, and I'll try not to use any jargon. But simply it's this, that uh, how we see symbi symbiosis is when um, an adult uh, goes into a symbiotic relationship, that's a, a way of being that's learned from early childhood generally. Um, so therefore when a child's little, what happens in the attachment relationship is that the mother or the father in some way abandons that child emotionally and in order to keep that relationship going the child wants the relationship to be kept going what they do is they decide they need to look after that parent and it's generally because the parent isn't being adult it's because they are actually being very childlike in their behavior so what happens in the relationship is the child ends up looking after the unmet needs of the parents so it's a developmental issue that happens so it's a fixated on that need in the parent from their early childhood that, that gets played out uh, unconsciously in the relationship so child looks after parent becomes the parent and that's when the symbiosis begins and what we've been talking about earlier was the fact that it's quite ordinary that in different ways that we would maybe negotiate because you know often that's what relationships are about. However, when you're talking about a symbiosis, what's happening is is that becomes the only way that person can actually learn and actually does relate to others yeah. by actually always trying to feed or meet that need of the other person's yeah. child in them. Yeah, it's because their way of attachment um, has has developed through that way. So they kind of have a blueprint of attaching, which is a symbiotic way of attaching. So as they get older, they repeat that pattern of attaching in their adult relationship. Mm. In Gestalt, as I say, we don't have that terminology or that type of theory. Um, the closest that would come, and that's interesting that I use the word closest, because we would talk about confluence. Mm. And the meaning for confluence, as far as the gestalt is concerned, is that merging with the other. Yeah, yeah. So you would get the, we always have fish on a Friday. <laughs> we always, you know, and it's never yeah. an I. It's always yeah, about the we. Yeah, yeah. And um, so with a confluent relationship, and again, there can be a really healthy part of actually being merged with the other, yeah. often in times of great, you know, really high emotion. Yeah. Um, and, and that would be a healthy thing to do. However, to be merged with the other, where the sense of I is lost, yeah. and uh, there is no sense of self-empowerment, of self-development, or robustness yeah. without the other. Yeah. That's right. So, so that's maybe sort of theoretically different, yeah. and yet the same. And yet, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. And so often the blending of psychotherapy is, yeah, 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 yeah very, very so similar. Transactional has got some of its roots in Gishol, so that yeah. would really make sense. Yeah, because uh, you know, what you're saying is um, 
the symbiotic relationship is set up because that's the way that that child has learnt to, to exist because they fear mm. in the abandonment or the rejection or, or the lack of connectivity that somehow something terrible will happen and they'll, they'll either uh, be abandoned or even in some cases fear being killed or the other being killed or yeah. dying. Yeah, yeah. So, as a therapist... What are you likely to see? What would make you think, aha, something's happening here? Yeah. This symbiosis or there's being a pull yeah. for you to be drawn into a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. What would you see? Uh, well, it can sometimes be really subtle and you don't mm. know you're doing it till you're pulled in, like yeah. you said. Yeah. Um, so uh, what you might see is that the client in front of you uh, accessing... Uh, not a kind of grown up here and now state, they'd be more very childlike mm. uh, and would be uh, inviting you. You can feel this kind of pull to want to take care of them or parent them in some way. So uh, advise them, but also maybe you might want to, they might be asking you for advice rather yeah. than them or, taking responsibility themselves. Yeah, or, or, they, or they might uh, 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 appear helpless. Mm. Uh, and you might feel that part of you in the transference wanting mm. to be their parent yes. in their, yeah. with their helplessness. Um, and they might say something like, you know, you're the only one that really gets me. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So, so in flattering yeah. the therapist, then yeah. they're more likely then to respond. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, uh, if, if, you, if you suss that out and you're really attuned to that, sometimes it's quite useful uh, for, for you to kind of go on, along with it. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes it's important for you to bring that into their awareness. Yes. Yeah. So, what would you suggest for other practitioners uh, to work with the symbiotic relationship or for someone who comes to see you who lives their life that way, trying to draw other people into a symbiotic relationship? Well, of course, if they have lived their life doing that, they have an investment in keeping that going. Absolutely, because they've managed so far, yeah. and it's worked for yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, but generally, people come into therapy because it's not working for them anymore. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, you, you, you have a foot in the door there. Um, so generally, uh, if you begin to recognise they have a symbiotic way of attaching, you can contract for the work for them to unpick what that means for them and what that's about. Mm. So they, be they begin to become more aware of, of how, instead of it being self-serving and uh, uh, working for them, how it doesn't work for them. Mm. Um, because after all, they've come because they're unhappy and they want to change that. So that's motivation, usually, mm. for them to want to do something about it. Mm. Um, and because I'm a transaction analysis psychotherapist, uh, I tend to contract with them about how that work is. So okay, could you a, give me an example? A, um, well, uh, first of all, obviously, unpicking, making an alliance is really important. Because yes. Unless you have that relationship with that person, they're not going to be able to withstand some of the gentle confrontations that you might have to uh, come up with in terms of, did you realise that you've said that four times now about that person, mm. et cetera, et cetera? Um, or uh, do you always have to uh, wear the same clothes as your partner wears, yeah. etc.? Yeah. Um, so uh, to, to build a relationship is important, first of all, mm. and then to contract for the work. What is it you want to change? Because generally people want to change something. Mm. And if you've got their agreement about finding out why they do things uh, and, and how that feeds their symbiosis, Mm. Uh, then they're more likely to want to change that. Yes, yes, no, that makes real sense. Yeah. Um, so th the beginning part of the process is the most essential because mm. what comes after isn't going to be so difficult. Yeah. So it's yeah. the beginning part of this. You mm. know, people who are invested in a symbiotic relationship um, are invested for a very good reason because mm. it, it helps them be who they are. Mm. So... Uh, helping them understand that is the first part of the process. Yeah. And helping them recognise that actually they can exist without it is the next part yes. of the process. Yeah. And really that's about our relationship, isn't it? I'm mm. sure, you know, as a Gestalt psychotherapist, 
It is all about working with the transference. Absolutely, yes. It, it's about working in the here and now. And, you know, the words generally we would use is about raising awareness. So it would be when those small things come in yeah. that you would, you know, you would say to them, and I'm aware as you do that, I feel pulled to do in response. Yeah. Um, because often it will be out of clients' awareness and they will think, oh, I hadn't realised that actually that's what I was doing or that's what maybe was happening for you as I did that. Um, and often I find when working uh, with this group of clients is that the feeling of empowerment, of doing it differently, yeah, and uh, it can be almost quite heady for them. Yeah, uh, you know, because it's quite exciting yeah. to actually choose to do it differently. Yeah, because that's what essentially uh, getting out of the symbiosis is about, really, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, about owning your own power. Yeah, and sort of giving it over to the other. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm aware that it's a bit cold in here, Steffi. You cold? Yeah, I'm cold. Oh, I'm really, really cold. Let me go and get you a. Oh, thank you. I uh, really nice appreciate warm. that. That's yeah. okay. Here yeah. you go. Yeah. Oh, thank here, here, here. Thank you. Now, thank you. now, don't you feel better that I've I've done that for yeah, you? Yeah, I do. I yeah. feel so much better. Good, good. <laughs> good example <laughs> of a symbiotic invitation. Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. Speak again soon. Bye.